Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to attempt to chop this filter up right here. This is a Swiss IAQ HEPA filter, nanoparticle filter, F3. Number 202213000. This is a serious filter. This is the heaviest filter I have ever had the pleasure of trying to lug around. All right, so now, first things first. Let's find out how much this piece of garbage weighs. Got my scientific scale here. We're gonna check it out and see what this thing comes in at. I'm gonna say too heavy, get off. Oh my, what are we in, what scale? 32 pounds. So this filter is 32 pounds. I said it was about 40, I was eight pounds. I was a little bit off. It's about eight pounds off. What can I say? My internal scales can't, don't know what 40 pounds is anymore. Okay. Let's turn that off. Now, the next thing. What makes this thing so heavy? That is the next thing that I want to know. Why is this thing 32 pounds? So let's go to my sawzall I just, or use a long one and shop right through everything that still wouldn't make it through yeah let's just rip it let's see what we could do change that to a new blade but what's the point I never hammered it straight yet one thing I should do and locked just make sure my blade that's on here is tight which it is need some electricity gotta get this thing fixed get it up and running I found that now I gotta see if I can make it run a little red one's nice, but it gets bogged down if it's too much. I learned that that snowstorm. Where? There goes nothing. Like some old tools. What speed am I in? I'm only in speed four. Look at that. That might actually almost line up. Any chance it just separates? No. Should have bought a bigger blade for this one, but let's see why this filter's 32 pounds. Thing's friggin' heavy. I think it's the heaviest filter I've had the pleasure. I'm wondering because I'm going internals. I should use a fancy one like this. Probably 
I have no idea what I'm about to run into as I get into this, but let's see what we have. Separating. You gotta keep them separated. What are we looking at? Is it 32 pounds? Just all paper? Really? Oh no, this kind of feels like it's 32 pounds of paper. It. it just feels like it's friggin a mer filter I don't think that frame is all the weight something I'm missing here Sawzall fixes everything. into my finger. Love these friggin' fish hooks. That'll be a bleeder. I don't want to name seeing what the hell's going on here. Oh, I have this friggin' heavy ass piece of garbage. I'm curious. Eh, it's only a little blood. So it's like charcoal lined paper. That's all we're dealing with here. But what makes this thing 32 pounds? So it's just a big fancy charcoal. Well, okay, there's something inside here. It get to a certain point. There's glue. Yeah, it's just glue. Nothing hard or rigid's in there. So this is just like a $600 MER filter. That's all we're looking at here. Now is it charcoal? Is that just a lot of dust from years? I don't... Somebody said like there's all this stuff inside here. Magnesium or whatever. To me, this just looks like a way overpriced MER filter. That's my opinion of the Swiss IQ filter setup. If anybody knows what makes this thing so expensive, please tell me. So this is just a MER filter. And MER filters don't cost that much. Why do we need a big metal box on our MER filter? I don't know. Seriously. <clears throat> There's nothing fancy here. Whatever this black stuff is, is probably what makes it expensive. It probably is like a charcoal layer. So, it is what it is. It's just an overpriced filter, as far as I'm concerned. I see no reason to go with this over a MERV filter at all. None. 
there's nothing here but a Merv filter with some charcoal on it. And I mean, Lennox makes one of those. 2025-5 Merv 16 filter, you get the charcoal feature. Forgot the model number, but... I mean... Yeah, you got... What do you got? Like 10 inches of filter. You go get a tape measure to find out. Alright, so let's see. You're getting... About 11 inches. 10... Yeah, almost 11 inches of a Merv filter here. Serious filter, yes. You're getting some serious filtration going on here. But I mean, seriously, this probably costs about $600. Probably somewhere in that range, if not more. Is it worth it? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to say don't waste your money on it. So I understand there's somebody, one of my subscribers who, somebody in their family has a breathing issue. This is probably dead worth it, but is it any better than just a Merv 16 five inch filter? I'm not sold on it. I wish I could say I was, but I'm not sold on this because that's all it looks like. It's just a tightly packed filter. I mean, as you can see here, but it's just a Merv, just like a Merv 16 filter. Rips, tears, super easy. But it, this is a filter after you've already got Merv 16 filters on your system, stopping any dust or anything from getting here. So this is just another filter on top, catching even more dust. If anything gets through the Merv 16s, this stops it. I'm not going to say don't buy this. I'm not going to say buy this. Do whatever you feel is best. But I'm not sold on it. I'm not going to recommend this for anybody to run out and purchase over a 5-inch filter. Unless somebody can give me some good reason why this should be used. Like I said... I want to be sold. I want to say, hey, this is the greatest ever. I do. But we're just looking at a filter. And they're glued together, it looks like. Or is the glue just there to help hold it in place? Kind of like that big plastic home would do. Yeah, it's just regular glue on there, so. There's nothing. I thought there'd be like a th big thick thing of some kind of like minerals inside of here, like charcoal rocks or something for it being 32 pounds. The frame isn't that heavy, but all that glue and paper, I guess, whatever dust this thing has captured. Make up your own decision on this. I'd shop this open because I said I wanted to see why it was so heavy. Just not sure if it's worth 600 bucks, 700, 800. I don't even know what it cost. I didn't sell it. So replaced. Uh, there's a lot of glue holding that down. That also can raise prices. So it looks like there's a lot of glue on this, adding a lot of weight. This paper here does not have any of that black stuff. Probably no dust has gone through it. That could all be dust. That's all that black stuff might be. It just might be dust because this had no pre-filter on it. It's the only reason why it was replaced. Nobody ever put a pre-filter on it, so I wrote it up to replace it. It could be made black. I figure, you know what? There's no pre-filter. Might as well replace this, put a pre-filter before it. And then we won't have to replace these going forward because these things, like I said, are not cheap. The pre-filters are 450, 500 bucks. In here, that it is solid. It doesn't seem like it moves. Make up your own mind. It is a lot of filtration going on in here, though. 
Definitely is, but then you also have MERV-16 before this. Four MERV-16 filters are supposed to be before this, capturing the dust in the air. So then they capture, and whatever they don't capture, supposedly this will. But the MERV-16 should capture almost everything in the air anyway. But I'll leave it up to you guys. I heard this is like meant for like a hospital clean room or something like that. You could see all this stuff just falling right off. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Let me know. Is this a poster? <coughs> Have that stuff on there? So I thought the new ones were all white. They were. All white. I'm Bill, the HVAC hacker, and I'm out.